Hey guys, Aris here. And something you may not know about me is that I make my costumes without any patterns. It's much less time consuming. <clears throat> it gets the work done even faster. Like when I make a costume, it takes me less than a day to finish it. Now the only time I use a, the only time I use a pattern for a cosplay is when I did Beatrice from Over the Garden Wall. And today I'll be using my Zelgadis cosplay from Slayer's Evolution R as an example. Okay, so anyway, on so to the first story. thing you want to do is that you want to trace the you want to trace the shirt you're using as a pattern onto the fabric. Okay, I'm really hoarse, so if I throat scratchy, I'm sorry. Now this part's optional. I'm just doing it because I have a mannequin and I'm just fixing the big sleeve holes because I'm very fat and I'm very plus sized. If you're skinny, you don't have to do this. It's just what I'm doing. So the next part is that you want to, after you cut out the shape of the shirt, after you trace it onto the fabric, you want to pin it to another layer of fabric. Also, this video is for my friend Rachel, so shout out to Rachel, or you know her as Sunflower on Instagram. She doesn't have Instagram, but that's what, that's her, um, alias. And now you want to cut the fabric out after you pin it. And after you're done, take it to the sewing machine, or you can hand sew it if you don't have a sewing machine. But sewing machines do get the work done a lot faster. I'm not going to show how I did sleeves, even though this costume has sleeves, because it's really easy. You just have to, like, fold fabric on your arm and basically measure it. And what I did with the pants is that I took my pajama pants and traced it onto the fabric. You even want to cut the crotch part, like I'm doing right now, and pin it back together. This is my second time making pants, and I pretty much know this is how you make pants. And again, pin the crotch piece. And once you're good, once you're done, again, take it to the sewing machine, or you can hand sew it. And that is the finished result. So. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time with another cosplay. Okay, that's really cringy. I should really change my Logan.